Hey everybody, it's Jay here from Modern Mississauga, and we are taking a look at the all-new to Canada 2017 Nissan Qashqai, which is their subcompact SUV, or a crossover, call it what you like. It's a little smaller than the Rogue, and a little bigger than the Sentra, but it's obviously a crossover because it has the, um, uh, the rear hatch. So, a quick look uh, around the vehicle in Monarch Orange, which is their specific color for this. Uh, it looks good. It's a nice, safe, and conservative design. Uh, not looking to reinvent the wheel here, and that's a really a good thing. Uh, we'll take a look at the inside of the trunk on the interior portion, but just uh, a quick walk around here, just so you get a bit of a uh, side profile. Um, the rear uh, door bulges out a little bit to give you a little more cargo space. Sorry, cargo space. Single exhaust. Can we get that in there? Yep, there it is right there. Uh, the SV, again, the middle of the line trim comes with 17 inch wheels and the top trim SL bumps that up to 19 inches. Um, but again, I think the, uh, the SV is going to be the very popular volume seller here because it's middle of the pack. Uh, goes for around $24,500 uh, before your freight PDIs and extras and all that kind of stuff. So it's well priced uh, within the market to, uh, for, what, for what you're getting. Taking a look at the side mirrors, the turn signals are integrated right there. Uh, I like that the, uh, the unlock, oops, unlock and lock is the same color. It's not a little black button, just a small thing, gas tank on the passenger side. As we continue to move around the vehicle, get to the front end, which looks very, very typical Nissan uh, with the logo uh, in that little scoopy V thing right there and the boomerang uh, fog lights. Uh, sorry, not fog lights, day runners. Uh, also fog lights on this SV trim as well. Uh, no halogens, just regular lights. Uh, sorry, no LEDs, just regular lights here, which is totally fine. Um, I get good visibility at night out of the vehicle. Um, it looks sharp. I'm, I'm really happy with what Nissan's done uh, with the Qashqai. It's been sold world, worldwide, I think, for close to, if not over 10 years. Um, and I'm happy it's come to Canada because there are vehicles like the... Um, uh, like the Mazda CX-3, the uh, Honda HR-V. Not quite sure it competes directly with the uh, the Toyota CHR. Kind of a goofy looking vehicle personally. I know they're going for the younger market, but I'm not really in love with the vehicle. I'm not really in like with the vehicle either. Anyway, so the exterior of the vehicle looks really, really, it looks good. It's, it's nice, it's sharp, it's still conservative, but modern. Anyways, uh, we'll be right back uh, to take a look at the inside. Oh, before we go uh, to the inside, just a quick note here. The wheel arches, very, very nice and pronounced in black. Um, okay, that's it for real. We'll be right back with the inside. And we're back with the interior look at the 2017 Nissan Qashqai uh, SV trim. Uh, quick note, uh, the rear um, cargo space with the seats up, uh, you hit 566 liters, which is pretty respectable. And you pop the seats down, you get 1500 liters. What I've done is I've put the 60 uh, portion of the 60-40 split down just to show you how much space you have. Uh, and the right side, which is the 40% is up. Uh, there is a kind of cool like divide and hide -ish system here, which Nissan has. Sorry, let me start that again. Uh, so there is your uh, flats with them both up. You take one down. For a little bit more storage or you can do what i did when you're transporting pies for thanksgiving you just slide them underneath here uh, and that way um, they won't be turned over or anything crazy like that and the same thing here uh, you just lift that up and uh, you can put something else that's a little deeper in there put that back together uh, a couple of little extra storage storage pieces here and here to keep i don't know if you've got a bottle of something uh, from the grocery store that you don't want to tip over we will take a quick look now inside the rear seats, which are surprisingly comfortable for uh, a smaller vehicle. Usually you're kind of squeezed in there. Let me put the seat up again. And that is your uh, center uh, cup holder, center armrest cup holder. You don't want that. You push that right back up. Those are my Thanksgiving leftovers. Uh, so sorry about that. And that's a couple of pies in there as well. Um, but the rear seat's, you know, fairly comfortable for what it is. You fit too comfortably and not too keen on having a third person in there. On the middle trim, which is the SV, you get your rear climate control or your uh, rear vents. Um, kind of a nice touch on, uh, on such a smaller vehicle. You don't get the pockets back here on that side either. I would have liked to see that. Um, that's just me. I like having a little more functionality in the car. Uh, before we get to the driver's side, I'm going to take a look through the passenger side of this. 
just kind of show you what you're looking at here. So nice conservative layout, uh, manual seats for the passenger here. Um, no big deal, a couple of cranks, right? Uh, where is it? Yeah, right there. And you get what you need, your headrest adjusts. The seats are well, uh, well bolstered on the side, again, for this type, um, uh, for this class of vehicle, very happy with that. Uh, thigh bolsters are pretty respectable uh, as well. Uh, we're gonna run around and jump in the driver's seat and do a quick look in there. We'll run you through a couple of things. So we're in, push button start right there. Get rid of the volume on whatever it is I was listening to. Uh, very simple, uh, conservative design from the dashboard. A couple of big dials. You got your tack on your left and your, th um, your thermostat. And you have your speedometer and your gas tank on the right. You cycle through this, you got all sorts of different settings. So you have your trip, fuel economy, uh, radio, tire pressures, warnings, chassis control, um, and a couple of different settings as well. Right here is your dimmer and uh, brightness for the dash. So that's what it looks, I'm not sure it'll show. Um, yeah, it doesn't really show too much here. Uh, but anyways, that's that. Uh, your trip reset. Again, I'm more comfortable having just, you know, that kind of push thing right there or there or there, but Nissan likes to put it uh, right there, which is fine. Your, uh, let's go down a little bit below the steering column heated steering wheel on this specific trim and it's right there let me actually open the door to get some light and have you take a look there that's better so that's your eco mode a uh, couple of empty switch buttons there um gas tank down there and your hood and your kick parking brake the fit and finish is pretty good um you know i'm not saying this because i expected it to be a cheap car um it's more than i'm impressed that nissan has taken um uh, the steps to make this you know more of a premium feel for a car uh, soft touches up here as well uh, piano black trim yes can get some fingerprints on it but like whatever no big deal uh, right here on this trim uh, is the five inch screen no navigation uh, same thing comes with a base model which is the s you got to go right to the top of the ladder to the sl uh, and that gets you navigation that gets you a seven inch screen it's a six speakers uh, and a bunch of extra bells and whistles you do have an auxiliary port uh, as well, and your USB and your cigarette lighter adapter all comes in there. Nice little storage space, angle downwards so things don't kind of fly up and around. Double cup holders right there, heated seats, two settings, a little bit of storage, yeah, obviously your gear shift. I would like to see a Nissan logo or something, it looks a little plain and boring here. Um, but you know, that's me nitpicking. Uh, steering wheel is the D-shaped one. Uh, with the flat bottom, uh, Nissan says there have been studies showing that your hand is more comfortable and uh, experiences less fatigue uh, through a flat bottom as opposed to the fully curved bottom. Uh, I know I keep my hands at uh, 10 and 3 uh, most times, so to me it doesn't matter whether it's a flat bottom or triangle, but whatever it is, um, doesn't really make a difference. Your audio controls are here, your um, da dashboard controls are here. Um, that's your cruise control there. A couple of dead buttons uh, right there as well as that. Um, and your Bluetooth functionality is right there. I like the layout of the center console. It's simple. There's buttons. There's dials. It's so easy to maneuver through. Um, you're not really guessing on anything at all. Um, I like that it's not all touch screen. I know Volvo's kind of revolutionized the industry. I'm not ready for it. I don't know if you're ready for it, but that's uh, that's that's my take on that. Uh, on this specific SV trim, there is a sunroof, but it is not a panoramic roof, and that's quite fine by me. Open it up to get a little more light in the cabin. Um, I keep it open most times. It was really hot this afternoon, so I shut it. Um, HVAC controls right there. Your armrest gets you a fairly deep amount of space kind of goes up to halfway up my forearm and there is a little i don't know if we can see it i don't think we can see it anyway there's a little slot in there as well for uh, for change or something smaller as well overall i really like the fit and finish and trim um off the cash guy it's going to be a great big volume seller i think anyway for the nissan brand i think people will surprisingly cross shop it against the rogue even though it's smaller than the rogue it's uh, lower price than the Rogue. 
Um, but you know, from what I've heard, a couple of dealerships have said people have passed on the Qashqai to get a Rogue. Um, I guess they want just that little bit of extra space um, and extra height. Uh, Nissan says that the Qashqai drives like a little SUV but parks like a car. I absolutely agree with them. Um, this thing is fun to drive, it's peppy, it's it's not going to throw you back in your seat and you're not going to beat anybody off the line with it. Um, beneath the hood is a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine, 141 horse and 147 pound feet of torque through the uh, CVT. So that's the SV, automatic only mid trim. Top trim SL, automatic only. But the base model S comes in six speed manual or the, uh, the CVT automatic, kind of cool. And going for the all wheel drive, it's optional on the mid trim. It is standard on the top trim uh, and not available on the bottom. So the higher you go, the more you get. Pretty, you know, basic car marketing 101. Um, steering, uh, you know, we'll get into the steering and road feel uh, and then the last uh, portion of the video. Um, yep, uh, my final take on the interior. It's well done, it's great, it's comfortable. I've gone on a couple of long drives from Mississauga to St. Catharines and had a great time doing so. Um, yep, yeah, all right, that's uh, that's it for the interior. Sorry for the constant shot of the side of the wheel. I meant to have it there, but um, that's life, right? <laughs> hey everybody, we're back with the uh, final portion, which is the uh, on-road portion for the 2017 Nissan Qashqai, first time in Canada. Uh, been around the world, or sorry, been sold around the world for uh, close to, uh, if not a little over a decade. Um, I'm really, really impressed with what Nissan's done as far as the comfort and fun to drive factor here. Yes, there's only 141 horse through a 2.0 uh, four cylinder engine, but, you know, sorry, and the 147 pound feet of torque, but it's it's comfortable. The, the handling is surprisingly good. Uh, handles like a car, um, even though it's got a bit of a higher stance as opposed to an SUV, as opposed to a car. Um, yeah, steering feel is great. Um, as I mentioned in the other portion of the video, it's not gonna throw you back in your seat. And, you know, you might need a couple of extra seconds to get up to, um, uh, to speed um, if you're smart and a little conser conservative with the, uh, with the gas pedal. You know, there's still no problems getting up to highway speeds. You know, you just hammer your foot down and you're good. Um, but, I, I think this will make a fairly significant dent in the compact SUV market. Uh, sorry, subcompact SUV market. Um, it's it's a great car. It's got a great feel to it, and it's functional. It's got uh, I believe 1,500 liters of cargo space uh, with the seats down, which is plenty. Uh, Nissan's marketing this to um, first-time car buyers and young couples uh, who are looking for something small yet utilitarian but fun to drive and looks good easy on the wallet as far as gas goes and I believe uh, the SV trim averages out at 8.1 liters per 100 kilometers combined for highway and uh, and uh, oh I lost my train of thought highway and city driving um, I say I'm a lot I've, uh, I've noticed that I should probably work on not saying um so um Okay, that one was on purpose. Sorry about that. <laughs> what was I saying? Right, the uh, the road feels good. It's a little noisy in the cabin, but consider the class of vehicle it is. If it really bothers you, turn the steer turn the uh, the audio up a little bit, and you'll be just fine. No uh, no big obstacles there with that. Uh, it's easy to drive. It's fun to drive. Easy to park. Uh, easy to maneuver. Holds a lot of uh, a lot of cargo. And that's really what you're looking for out of uh, a, a lower priced vehicle. Um, I don't want to say cheap vehicle. This is anything but cheap. But as far as what you, uh, what I'd expect anyway, um, out of something in the 20s, 20,000 mark, this pretty much hits off all of the marks for me. Yes, I wouldn't mind having a turbo option and maybe Nissan, I'll put one out in a couple of years uh, as a special package. Um, but aside from that, um, I, I I like what they've done with the vehicle. I like how it feels. I like how it looks. 
I like that it's easy on the wallet. I like the design. Um, you know, nitpicking, a couple of map pockets behind the front seats, give you a couple of extra USB ports, maybe one in the rear and a second one up front. Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, give me a couple of those things as well. But for the rest of it, that's not really nitpicky. Um, the car comes quite well equipped right out of the box. And that's a pretty hard thing to do these days. Uh, so that'll wrap it up for this portion of the video. Um, and the video itself for that matter. So if you have any questions, let me know through the comment section on YouTube or reach out to me on any social media channel, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, or flip me an email at uh, info at modernmississauga.com. This is Jay from Modern Mississauga, and this is our look at the 2017 Nissan Qashqai SV trim front wheel drive. Thank you again for watching. We appreciate it. And we'll be back with some other fantastic video sooner than you expect. <laughs>